I have a story behind this feather I'm holding. Um, I think it was about two years back I painted a bird using a reference picture I got from the internet. Uh, so it was interesting because the, this bird in the picture looked exactly or more closely like magpie robin. But instead of the black and white color, this one had black and orange. Um, somehow I did not go much into searching about uh, this bird in the picture. Rather I assumed that this might be photoshopped. Someone might have added orange color to the magpie robin. Meanwhile, I made a very simple dua. I asked Allah, Ya Allah, uh, if this bird is an existing one, give me an opportunity to witness it with my own eyes. So I totally forgot this dua. Um, and recently, I was sitting and watching sunset uh, on a very gloomy evening. Then something uh, that was bright in color captured my attention. So something was moving around, uh, probably a bird. So I went, um, like took gradual steps towards it and tried to see what it was. Finally, I saw the bird and my jaw dropped. It was a pleasant surprise because I was looking at the bird I painted two years back. A bird which I thought was too amazing to exist, I was seeing it with my own eyes. Then to uh, multiply my surprise, another one which was yellow and black, it was bright yellow and black, landed in front of me on a tree branch and I was like even more shocked because what I'm seeing like two birds uh, which looked exactly um, similar but the colors were different one was bright orange the other one was bright yellow that was like it was so beautiful to see them with my own eyes um, they were there for a very little time and in that time all I was able to do was keep on watching them and keep my jaw dropped <laughs> Then soon after they left, I went on searching about these birds. So I found out that these birds are called Baltimore Orioles and the orange one was male and the yellow one was female. So I had witnessed a pair. So it was very beautiful because uh, I have never seen them and I also found out that these birds are uh, native to North America and they do migrate at times but after telling uh, about what I saw to my family I felt if I just had a snap um, of the bird to show them uh, I would be able to share my excitement with them uh, but I could not take any pictures in that very short time so I was a bit uh, like wishing if I had something more to show to my family. Uh, however, the following day uh, I was sitting in the same spot and just looking around and I saw something orange again. But this time it was not the bird but one of its feathers. So I knew that they might have visited my home again and I had missed the opportunity to see them again but that's okay I had got a feather to show my family and uh, I was reminded of my childhood times when I made like small du'as and I was answered Allah is so loving and so kind to his servants um, this is just so beautiful I was reminded that none of our du'as um, has gone in vain everything will be remembered by Allah and will be granted on an appointed time there will be du'as uh, that you and I had made for years and not seen any answers but 
all we have to do is keep on asking why because Allah loves us so much that he loves hearing us and every time we ask a dua that is recorded and that is remembered by Allah and it's it is adding up uh, more goodness to our lives even though we might not see so just do not stop making to us and some might wonder why I'm getting so excited upon seeing an orange color bird um, the reason is that I do not enjoy or you know I have never admired a bird that is put inside a cage so we will find the birds um, or foreign birds that are put inside cages and sold in shops I could never like um, admire them uh, because the beauty of birds is not just in their uh, feathers colors or their songs one of the most important part of the beauty of a bird is freedom they are given wings and they can fly up high so when we are in need of hope we tend to look at the sky and when we want to motivate someone we would say you can fly so these creatures are given wings and they do live in the open air uh, like you know in a vast area so that is part of their beauty and when we cage them you know we take away part of them like their right and their beauty and I do not see any beauty um, in that act like putting a bird inside a cage is just like you know uh, putting a, a person behind bars so it means so much to me when I find any bird that is visiting my home my neighborhood because they have chosen to come um, and they have freedom to go wherever they want they have uh, freedom to fly and they have chosen to visit my home that's so special to me the nature around us is one of the languages our Lord is using to communicate with us so when we are stressed or sad and we um, take some time to be outside and watch nature um, when we see birds we tend to feel a sense of freedom the person who taught me this idea uh, was my father uh, as a child I used to love pets and I used to think that um, if I take a pet uh, bird from like my surrounding and if I foster them they will have a better life but um, that was not true and I used to ask my dad to buy me some birds in a cage but he used to postpone it so much that you know he felt like um, it was so cruel to watch a bird inside a cage uh, but I used to insist uh, saying that at least we can buy them from the shop so you know um, our home will be better uh, than the shop so Instead of forcing this lesson, my dad bought me a few birds in a cage. While having those birds with me, um, I had witnessed uh, the other birds of similar kind, visited them, and the birds that were inside this cage were like so depressed and, you know, uh, they were suffering. Uh, so one day I just opened the door of the cage and let them fly away. Um, however, I have had many other pet birds uh, that were rescued from my neighborhood. When something happened to their nests and all, um, I used to take them and like have them as pets. Uh, so at, uh, at certain points they left, uh, but that's okay, right? <laughs> they um, deserve to fly, so I don't like to cage and keep them with me. Birds occupy the upper part of this world which is like um, the tree branches and they live very close to the sky so I just don't want to take them and drag them to the ground and keep them inside our homes. Let them be um, where they belong.
there are still people who are um, having pet birds without cages and they have a very good connection and bond with them so that's kind of nice and it might be relaxing to the mind as well but a bird that is forced into a cage is never beautiful Do you have a the ah that was answered in a beautiful way? If you do have a story like that, do share in the comments so everyone can read. So goodbye and I hope to see you in my next video.